all scripts are based on people, their lifestyle, the places they live in, their traditions, their political beliefs and so on and so forth. And much of that information, much of that insight about the people comes through direct inter interaction with the people. So we have to go to the places where they live, we have to spend long hours with them, we have to understand their lifestyle and then only an authentic script will emerge. And therefore, this necessity to learn and conduct a successful interview. Now, when you are conducting an interview, and this I am saying a research interview, interview for researching for your script. This is not on camera interview. So, uh, in a research interview, th there are broadly two kinds of interviews. One is uh, interacting with uh, resource persons who know subject experts and the other is interacting with the people who will eventually be the protagonists in your film or the, the, the fiction characters will be modeled after them. We are fortunate to have with us today Mr. Tuhinabho Mojumdar, who is a filmmaker of some repute and his forte is fiction film. So we are going to discuss with him some of his experiences and insights in conducting these interviews at the research stage and doing a preliminary research before writing the script. Uh, the uh, first uh, thing one has to keep in mind, one has to work on is uh, whom to interview, why to interview him or her and what to interview. I mean, what will be the questions. Uh, so maybe uh, in terms of fiction, uh, he or she uh, uh, might have a questionnaire, though it's uh, uh, not mandatory, uh, because that's. But one should remember that that's that's just a uh, map to guide uh, him or guide his, uh, you know, uh, his uh, uh, subjects. I mean, subjects by here by subject. I mean, the interviewees. If it's a fiction, there is a story, there is an idea, uh, there is a structure to the film. Okay, that's fine. But there are also people. They also speak, they speak a certain dialect or a certain language or in a certain way, I mean the speech pattern. Hmm. So these are very important uh, for writing dialogues in fiction films. Suppose a film in, in Bengali hmm, is being made uh, in uh, uh, say Purulia, Purulia is a district uh, in West Bengal. Uh, so, uh, in that part of Bengal, people uh, speak a certain kind of uh, dialect, which is um, which is a mix of uh, Bengali, uh, uh, Hindi, and uh, um, and few other tribal languages. You know, so it's not a pure Bengali that usually we speak in, say, in Kolkata. Hmm. So it's slightly different from what we, the Bengali we speak here. So uh, for the dialogue, it's very important that uh, the dialogue writer and also the director, if he or she is not the dialogue writer of the film, uh, they should uh, visit the pl place and talk to people and, and, and research on that. Now supposing you've mentioned Purulia. Hmm. Supposing a team from Kolkata, small team researcher, scriptwriter, director, hmm. yeah. so they go to Purulia. Okay. Now we are outsiders. Now as outsiders, when we go to a village in Purulia, we can face some difficulties. Yeah. Now for example, the first difficulty that we may face is, they may become suspicious of us. Yeah. Why are we here? What mm. is our agenda? Why are we asking so many questions? Why are we so curious? Mm. And they may just you know, withdraw into a shell mm. or they may be very defensive. They may yeah. not open up at all. Yeah. On the other hand, they may also think that, oh, these Babus from Kolkata have come and they are our messiah, they are our saviors and let us tell all our problems to them and some, maybe somehow they will bring our a solution and so. So that way they will start using us and they may, you know, exaggerate some of their problems, or some of their living conditions and put, try and put it across uh, to us, to, uh, try and impress us. Yeah. Now in both the cases, they are putting up a facade. But the scriptwriter has to break that facade and reach the real people and that means he has to win their confidence and for that he has to spend a lot of time. Uh, even I would just uh, to, uh, I mean, like to add few things like mm. the gadgets we are carrying, yes. uh, say the camera or, or uh, simple sound recording, mm. you know, yes. uh, uh, recorder, yeah. whatever, yeah. Microphone. that might even, you yeah. know, disturb them or maybe they uh, might become too curious, uh, mm. what are these, how do they work. Yes. Uh, and uh, so, w w w I mean, one should also, you know, like make them familiar mm. uh, with those kind of uh, yes. equipment 
that we are carrying. Yeah, so hmm. let them play with a little. Yeah, little yeah. Little maybe ki maybe. Ki kids will come and yeah, they yeah. and they will start playing with that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But let them play, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that is also one good way of winning their confidence. Yeah, they are yeah, our friends, yeah. Let you know. let the ki uh, I mean uh, yeah. kids uh, look through the camera. Uh, yeah. uh, as uh, we were talking before this interview, yeah. um, that one should not uh, y you know control the mind of the uh, uh, speaker right. or the or, or the interviewee. Mm -hmm. uh, by that I mean that um, he or she should uh, come up uh, with their own perspective, own point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean they should. I mean we should not control them. Mm -hmm. We should not uh, you know impose our point of view on them. Exactly. That's very important, both in terms of fiction and non-fiction. Yeah. Yeah. So, so which means that we need to do some background research before we go to the place and before we take somebody's interview even yeah. at the research stage. Otherwise, we will not be able to make that questionnaire which you said is yeah. a, uh, will work as a map. map. So, it's in not order to make the question, I know, yeah. but in order to make the questionnaire also we need to do some background yeah. research. Yeah. But at the same time, we should not go with a very preconceived notion. Yeah. Okay, we will have an agenda, definitely we have an agenda, but that uh, we should also have an open mind yeah. and try to accept, try to understand what they are trying to say, try to see, think, life from their point of view. Otherwise, what's the point going there and uh, trying exactly. to make a film and talking to them and trying to make a film? Exactly. Uh, yeah. other, it can be made with a resource yeah. person here in Kolkata itself, Absolutely. In, yeah. within the studios. Yes, you know, e like, exactly. The questions on the questionnaires mm. should not also be biased in the sense that mm. biased uh, maybe politically mm. or maybe a religious uh, way or you know, there can be many ways one can, I mean, uh, uh, an interview, uh, uh, I mean, uh, viewer yeah. can actually uh, manipulate the minds of the I'm speaker. Sure. Yes, yeah, sometimes uh, the answer is embedded in the question itself. Yeah, and mainly, I am sorry to say, yeah. in lots of uh, yeah. these uh, regional news channels, yes. you know, they tend to, as you said, that uh, it's already embedded yeah. uh, within the question. Yeah. Uh, so, do you like it? I think you like it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> it's it's like that, you know, yeah. like uh, prompting uh, them to prompting answer. Them to answer way. in my own way, yeah, exactly, you know, yeah, or exactly. the channel's own way, Absolutely. Uh, channel's way. Yeah. I mean, that's a very uh, tricky thing to do. I mean, yes. uh, the the faith is faith and trust is very important. I yes. mean, no tricks actually works. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to have a real good interview, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. carrying a dictaphone is yeah. uh, very necessary. Why? Because your memory may fail. You know, uh, means in the sense that after you come back to the city, you may not remember everything. And if you start taking down notes, then you lose eye contact with the interviewee, and the interviewee may be put yeah, off. So you just put on the uh, the dictaphone. Let it get recorded and you just chat with the person and you have everything on record so yeah. that you can play it back again and again and then read between the lines so to say mm -hmm. later on. So and, and expecting every time mm. uh, uh, the speaker to be slightly objective is also a wrong way of doing it. Yes. I mean, he or she, I mean, uh, let uh, them uh, be subjective, subjective. I mean, yeah. uh, they, they will have their own way of looking at the event or uh, or whatever, yes. I mean, uh, yeah. the, the, uh, the, the, the topic, the issue. Uh, yes. the issue. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe it might, I mean, uh, it might be something else other than issue. Maybe it's a music film, suppose yeah. Yeah. A, a film based on yeah. Hmm, yeah. A, a, a form, I mean, a hmm. musical form right. from the same place yeah. we were talking uh, Purulia. earlier, yeah. Purulia. Yeah. Hmm, so, may, maybe, I mean, uh, as a filmmaker, uh, I might have, you know, collected or read uh, volumes of uh, hmm. books on uh, Jhumur, yes. hmm, but that don't help, you know, like, I should, uh, I mean, uh, allow my speaker hmm. uh, or the Jhumur singer or performer hmm. to perform it as he or she feels. I mean, exactly. uh, Which may not tally with what I have read. Uh, what I have read, because, because that book might have uh, yeah. been written maybe 100 years yeah, ago or 50 years exactly. ago, you know. I suppose you understand the importance of research interview and spending a lot of time uh, during the research stage with the real people, whether it is fiction or non-fiction. So coming to on camera interviews, I am sure all of you would agree that on camera interviews particularly for non-fiction programming, I mean it is absolutely inescapable. Whether it is news, whether it is documentaries, 
whether it is corporate film, on camera interviews, uh, you will you see on camera interviews in so many uh, programs in so many ways. In fact, there are so many interview based programs. For example, Larry King Live. Larry King became a legend doing that yeah. program for years. Mm -hmm. Then Tim Sebastian in Hard Talk, VBC. On our own home turf, you have uh, Shekhar Gupta walking, mm. the, uh, walking, walking the walk, walking the talk, walking. or on a more frivolous note, maybe Coffee with Karan or Simi Grewal show, or okay. in Bengal, uh, in uh, Kolkata, Porno, among Ritu Porno was quite exactly. Uh, so, so many yeah. types of interview-based programs, even Barkha that's the buck stops here, yeah. or. Um, Shagudika Ghosh's Face the Nation, where she is conducting interview with lot of people who are not there in the studio, but online mm. interview with people yeah. sitting in distant places uh, in the nation. Using technology. Yeah, I using mean, technology. So, yeah, there are yeah. types and types and types and of… And these two, uh, the last uh, two programs are slightly more aggressive in uh, nature. Uh, yeah. the, the way they put the questions, yes. the, the form the itself, way the, the, challenge, the, the, the way they, way they challenge. challenge. In each interview program, the interviewer carves out a niche for himself or herself. Okay, the, uh, the interview program becomes famous because of the interviewer yeah. and the program is known by that. So, the interviewer becomes a star by his own right. Some of the basic points to keep in mind is of course that the interviewer should not uh, dominate the show, let the interviewee speak. Yeah. That is an important point and uh, the other thing is of course that uh, uh, the interviewer should not at the same time interviewer should not lo lose control of the situation. Yeah. Okay, even if the interviewee speaks a lot, the interviewer should should not lose control of the situation. He should always have the reins of the program in his yeah. or her own hands. So, he may have an interviewee who is not talkative, who does not like to talk or he may have an interviewee who goes on, goes, he is very fond of talking and very difficult to say, okay, stop, the time is getting over. Yeah. Yeah. Or he may have an interviewee who may break down and start crying and then the interviewer has to uh, handle that situation. So, like that, there are uh, he has to handle different kinds of interviews and he should have the strategy to uh, handle different kinds of interviews. And also one important point I think is yeah. that uh, to make them spontaneous. Yes. I mean, uh, I mean they should feel free before the camera yes. uh, and, uh. and with microphones and everything. Mm. Maybe it is a studio situation. Yes. Mm. 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 It can also be a real life mm. location, uh -huh. but it can also be a studio, studio I mean situation. a very common person. Usually it is a studio, a studio situation. situation. Exactly. So, uh -huh. mm, so the lights are on, yeah. there, is, there are three, four cameras, yeah. uh, there are microphones. Yeah. So, so, they, um, uh, even after all that, they should, uh, I mean, one should make them uh, feel very uh, comfortable mm -hmm. and try to, you know, um, uh, make them spontaneous. Mm -hmm. That's that's very important. Uh, I mean, what should remember? One should remember that you are actually uh, uh, shooting or interviewing real people, yeah. real people in the sense where, where, where I mean, they are they are publicly speaking out their very intense moments about yeah. their yeah. painful, you know, memories, yeah. hopes, dreams, yeah. and yeah. whatever. So it's it's a very intricate and very delicate kind of situation. a situation actually. Yes. Uh, so yeah. it needs a special care. Uh, I mean, yeah. while handling that. So what we will do here, we will present to you a demo interview, an interview between. Tuhinabo and me. So, Tuhinabo, congratulations for conquering MIF and <laughs> welcome back to uh, Kolkata Thank once you. again. Thank you. Welcome back to the grounds. The first question that I would like to shoot to you is Did you anticipate this? I was. <coughs> rather quite overwhelmed with mm. the uh, with the um, reception of my film and uh, and the n number of audience uh, that saw the my audience film. audience strength, you uh, mean? Uh, audience almost strength. House full, yeah, yes. it was almost a uh, full house. Yeah. Uh, so that was a very new experience uh, for me because uh, before that I, I have mo I mean worked more for television. Mm -hmm. mm. So so it was a huge cr I mean almost gathering, a gathering huge huge, crowd, huge, yes. huge crowd. But the thing is that your film film which was on 8th evening, 8th yeah. the last slot, it was one of the last films to be screened in the yeah. festival. Yeah. You had seen so many other fiction films before that. Yeah. So, yeah. you had an idea what sort of fiction films had made an entry into the festival in yeah. the competition section of the festival. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you in your mind, I am sure you must have rated your film that how <laughs> does your film stand, how does it compare with the other entries in the fiction category. My film was constructed uh, in terms 
terms of construction, mm -hmm. uh, it, it was, uh, I think, absolutely different from what the other films were. I mean, this is, when I am saying this, uh, I'm not trying to say that my film was best or that, uh, but but it was definitely different from the way it looked, mm -hmm. uh, the language of the film, because uh, because I am basically, uh, I think that I, con I, I concentrate more on the language. By language, I don't uh, mean, mean the, the spoken, spoken, spoken language, words. But the visual, mm. audio yeah, visual audio, language. Audio visual language. Mm. And of, of course, in this particular film, as, as you know, you have seen the film, mm. um, Spoken language was also very important because I was dealing with such a narrative mm -hmm. uh, which was set in the early 19th century Kolkata uh, and also the inner quarters of uh, early 19th century North Kolkata, especially North Calcutta, uh, which is the Babus of Kol Calcutta in those those days. Uh, so uh, there, uh, the, in the interiors, the, especially mainly the women, my, as you know, my film uh, is about two women mm, and a girl looking at those two, I mean, two women. I thought that, yeah, my film in terms of stands as charge. Yeah, yeah. I don't, yeah. I mean, if I don't say that, then I might sound hypocritical, but yeah. Yeah, okay. I would like to ask you, in by your assessment, what is the winning streak in your film? What is the best aspect in your film? Oh, it's uh, slightly difficult uh, for mm. me uh, to tell that because I like all the <laughs> aspects <laughs> of the film. But uh, yeah, the uh, main difficulty was uh, uh, definitely to deal uh, such a uh, 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 such a daring subject, I would say, yeah. uh, because uh, it's uh, on relationship of two women. Uh, mm. So as a as a male filmmaker, mm. uh, I mean, first it was that what will be, be my game? Mm. What will be the politics? I mean, there is a politics of uh, gaze, uh, yeah. there, there is a very serious politics of gaze yes. when one is dealing such a subject. Yes. You know, yes. because it's it's uh, it's uh, it's dealing with. Firstly, it's a. Mm. An, uh, it I should mean, not become too voyeuristic. Too also. voyeuristic. Mm. That's one. Yeah. And the second is, I was uh, I I was uh, actually b p uh, trying to trying to make a film on two such uh, sub or three mm. three such uh, characters. Mm. Uh, which uh, uh, I'm not very, uh, you know, I don't meet them every day. Mm -hmm. uh, they, uh, I mean, it's it be, uh, firstly, they're from the another, um, era, another right? era. Mm -hmm. that, that's number one. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, the, the k kind of uh, speech or language they speak, mm -hmm. which is absolutely unknown for me. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, I had to do a lot of research. I had, mm -hmm. I had, I had read a lot of books and, mm -hmm. um, and how the women of those era, mm -hmm. they, I mean, what kind of language they used. The third point is that as it was dealing uh, a relationship between two women, I I was always I mean I was very conscious um, while shooting the film while editing the film uh, about not making it uh, I mean, uh, sensational, not titillating, uh, not titillating. One uh, simple I mean what stylization I would like to point out mm -hmm. that all the shots of the film mm -hmm. hmm, uh, are uh, through something. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, looking through something. Uh, maybe maybe the window. Or maybe a mirror, or maybe a reflection on the wall. Mm. You know, maybe a I shadow. Mean, maybe a shadow. It's it's. I mean, not a single shot in the film is is direct. a direct shot. I mean, mm. it's not. Not a direct gaze. Direct mm. gaze. Mm. So this is what we. Uh, I mean, actually, I spend a lot of time mm. uh, while scripting or before writing the script. Mm -hmm. uh, this this is the I think the most difficult uh, part uh, yeah. of the film. Yeah. Of course, uh, setting the color, yeah. uh, I mean, color scheme and all that, mm -hmm. uh, those were slightly easier in the, sen in, mm -hmm. in the, in the sense that we got a lot of old photographs yeah. or old paintings to see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we have. As I mean, a reference. As a reference. Yeah. And yeah. even I have used, uh, as you remember, three miniature paintings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, uh, with that, the film starts actually, uh -huh. begins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another thing also we were very uh, 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 conscious of was the soundscape of that mm -hmm. time of mm -hmm. that era mm -hmm. like what 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 would be the soundscape uh, because uh, in the early 19th mm -hmm. century mm -hmm. uh, you uh, can't Calcutta. give the sound of trams and trams, car honking yeah and all yeah, that. yeah yeah yes. so it has so entire uh, um, even the um, uh, entire track was designed later on yeah. 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 only only the dialogues were most of the dialogues were sync 
ऑपरेटिंग Mm-hmm. I mean, which was published out of the mainstream literature, and yeah. uh, which was running parallelly, and, and not even respectable. Again, Bhattula is not yeah. considered to be respectable. Now uh, people uh, like historians yeah, like Gautam Bhattu yeah, and have, all uh, they are rediscovering, rediscovering uh, Bhattula, Bhattula yeah. books and all that. So, yeah. so uh, that was another. So these two texts, as you said, are mm-hmm. really a film based on these two texts. Mm-hmm. Uh, is uh, it was um, quite daring in that mm. sense yeah. but uh, all i mean other than me yeah. uh, the credit goes to the channel and their uh, mm. creative producer also yeah. uh, that they agreed to uh, do this another winning thing in your film which you didn't mention somehow is the casting you know yeah. the characters uh, the actors that you chose hand picked to play the characters yeah. so just tell us very briefly about your uh, casting experience how you uh, zeroed in on those particular actors yeah, the most difficult hmm. casting was uh, ranga kakima the hmm. aunt yeah. hmm. i mean uh, I, I, I needed uh, someone of that stature and you know yeah. like who uh, I, I needed someone to be very fair yeah. like the north calcutta okay. women were hmm. in those days Taipo a little plump and yeah. and with that and also so have that dignified you know mm. uh, look and Dulbha and a kind of a tonal quality mm. vo- vo- in terms of voice Parifil. so <laughs> i don't know i uh, it was very intuitive in, mm-hmm. on my part yeah. suddenly i was uh, i was watching television popular okay, television okay, i saw okay. jojo mm-hmm. uh, uh, performing uh, yeah yeah mm-hmm. a, a pop star and you said wow mm-hmm. this is <laughs> yeah i i thought that why not mm-hmm. i called her up and she agreed because uh, she is uh, uh, i mean she is a musician mm-hmm. mm, uh, but uh, i mean she has acted in very few films mm-hmm. but she wants to act okay, uh, she okay. is co- quite keen in acting okay okay uh, so good. but initially yeah, she was yeah. slightly uh, she said that will it i mean it's a very difficult role difficult yeah. part for me to play mm-hmm. so i said okay if you rely on me then we can we'll uh, try we can give it a try together. Yeah, and happen. what about jojo's husband right rana sakima's husband yeah i mean there i had a confusion yeah, because that's i that's need right. a dancer okay mm, so yeah. b- the co- b- the whole point was should i go for an actor dancer yeah. or should i go for a dancer actor uh-huh. so then i decided no i will go for a dancer actor because <coughs> then the dance you can dance, play on the dance uh, dance you can play and uh, as he is also an artist uh, so whatever dialogues little uh, three four dialogues he had he managed it very well and he was very cooperative uh-huh. in that way uh-huh. and uh, my assistants also uh-huh. made him learn those lines and he did it qu- quite well acha now that you have got this award uh, what does it mean for your career for bengali television industry and for aspiring filmmakers like you what are the implications personally it's a very happy moment of course mm-hmm. and uh, in terms of my career maybe maybe it will help me in getting uh, i mean convincing uh, mm-hmm. 
producers, yeah. other producers to get a better works. E okay. This kind of, uh, yeah. I mean, f cinema, yeah. and that's one. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm quite excited about yeah. uh, 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 that. Uh, I mean, for the young filmmakers who are aspiring filmmakers who want to uh, say start their career in television. Mm -hmm. So I think this is uh, this uh, this is a message in itself because yeah. mm, that we think that television is all yeah. about you know um, uh, popularity and certain and kind of viewing and yeah, yes, family viewing and, viewing and certain people. kind of programs reality mm -hmm. shows and yeah, this or yeah, that yeah. but um, i personally feel, uh, feel that uh, television is yet to be explored mm -hmm. uh, yet to be explored in india mm -hmm. and 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 the whole important part is the yeah. budget of these films are uh, i mean i but that i mean the stake of the yeah. these films are very less uh -huh. uh, so if if uh, channels uh, like I mean like Rupo Shibangla and yeah. other channels they yeah. also come up come yeah. forward and yeah. help uh, I mean hmm. help in the sense Stick that out there yeah, make yeah, just a little bit just yeah. a little bit yeah. and and give uh, a, a chance to young filmmakers yeah. I think they can all I mean, there are uh, I mean uh, qu quite a few I mean mm -hmm. in Kolkata young filmmakers aspiring yeah. filmmakers yeah. Mm, we have two three uh, film institutes then we have mass communication students here mm -hmm. in Kolkata yeah. they can uh, they can really get a chance to do, a, chance to do a better works absolutely. meaningful works absolutely. Yeah. Yes. so thank you very much it Perfect. has been a pleasure thank talking to you and talking to about hearing about your experience uh, so you. we had thank making so the much. film Just as a quick recap, I would uh, like to just uh, draw your attention to certain aspects. Now, if when I, we decided that okay, we will do a demo program on the interview, the, my first instinct was a very strong urge to ask him the question, Kamun Lakche means what does it feel to win the award? First question you ask, which sets the ball rolling, is very, very important. Okay, and then the uh, from there where you go so that means you can go from the the issue at hand which is the award to more uh, the in depth discussion about the film and then again you come back to the award and so you make a complete ci cycle and in this complete cycle you touch upon all the important aspects let him speak in case it's a controversial issue where it i mean it, there was some controversial element in the film itself which we are discussing but otherwise there is nothing controversial but if it is a controversial issue don't shy away from asking controversial or pro provoking questions okay you don't have to be very nice to your interviewee you can always provoke him so that he he always also gets excited. So these are some of the things that you have to keep in mind while framing the questions and of course you have to keep it open flexible enough so that some questions come in spontaneously also. The entire purpose of interviewing hmm, is to let your subject or the interviewee to paint the canvas, allow him or her to paint the canvas and not just color, put some colors here and there in the canvas and complete the picture. Oh, that was very well said. It was a very good uh, metaphor, I would say. And I hope our young viewers remember that. And I really hope and wish that in your careers you end up conducting great interviews. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>